Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating my vectorizer command for Flash. And uh, I created this because I've uh, had uh, several clients uh, recently um, wanting to submit their characters to me in bitmap. Uh, format and uh, obviously the ideal way to uh, work with these characters is to vectorize them and uh, in order to keep my clients from having to do the additional work required in order to get this this artwork compatible uh, with flash uh, basically um, I created this command so I could just tell them hey you know what just send me the bitmap data and I'll go ahead and take care of the rest so I've done some uh, pretty remarkable steps in uh, uh, recent days to actually speed up the process even more than uh, what I used to have it. And uh, basically what we're looking at right now is a character that was submitted to me by uh, the cartoonist Gary Pye, whose uh, primary uh, tool for design is Photoshop. Now as we all know, Photoshop is a bitmap based uh, product. But uh, he did do a great job, for example, with this character that he'll be releasing uh, in the content store really, really soon. Um, at designing this character, he basically created all these characters in, in a way that, you know, they're all in individual uh, layers. So this is going to help me uh, quite a bit as far as rigging the character itself. And this is great. But the next step in the process is how do I get these characters into Flash and in a vector format. So what I came up with is a vectorizer command. So inside of Flash what I do is go to File, Import, Import to Stage and I select uh, the character. Go ahead and select the Open button and we'll give it a few seconds for the dialog window to come up to give us some options for importing this uh, Photoshop file into Flash. Now when the file itself is imported into Flash, it's all going to be in bitmap data. Uh, we do have to uh, make sure we follow a few things in order for this to work uh, best. The ideal uh, method is, first of all, layer conversion. We want to maintain the editable paths and effects. Basically what this is going to do is it's going to convert every layer into a flash symbol. And inside of that symbol it's going to place the bitmap file. It's very important that you select this, okay? Because if you select single flattened bitmap, it's going to import all the bitmaps individually, but it's not going to convert them into symbols for you automatically and it's going to save you a lot of work by just selecting this option first. Text conversion, this is all up to you. Uh, we're not dealing with text, we're dealing with cartoon characters, so we don't really care what happens to the text. Um, now, convert layers to, you can select flash layers or single flash layers. Personally, I choose single flash layer because I don't like dealing with hundreds and hundreds of layers uh, for this type of work. Uh, so I'm going to select the single flash layer option and I'm going to click the OK button. This is going to take a few seconds for the import to uh, actually process. But once it's imported, we'll be able to run the command. Here we go. I'm going to zoom out a bit. As you can see, uh, he created this character at a very high resolution, so these characters are huge. And. Uh, We'll get rid of some of these layers that, or some of these sprites that are unnecessary, like uh, this this dark uh, bitmap here. We don't need that. Let's see if there's anything else. Some transparent ones right here. So that's pretty much it. So at this point, we just select the entire thing. We can do everything individual, uh, one at a time if we wanted to. But what's the point? I mean, we just want to get the work done as soon as possible. And normally this would be a process that's a little bit time consuming because Flash does have the ability, let me see if I can duplicate this, uh, Flash does have the ability to convert uh, uh, bitmaps into vectors. But you have to do everything one at a time. So I'm going to break this apart real quick. And here's my vector, uh, here's my bitmap image. Go to modify bitmap, trace bitmap, 
and I choose my color threshold, uh, minimum area, doesn't matter. Uh, this is all your choice. Few corners, very smooth. Um, you know, you select this based on what you want the conversion to take place, and you click the OK button. Now that that bitmap has been converted into a vector, you can convert it into a symbol, and you're ready to start assembling your character. But, you know, there's literally, you know, maybe a hundred or so. I don't know. I've never counted these things, but there's a lot of freaking uh, bitmaps in here all working as, uh, uh, together. So doing this one at a time is still kind of tedious work, and, uh, you know, it could take a couple of hours to get that, that done. So if we select everything and we go to the commands menu, we select vectorizer, and you notice that I, I assigned control Q as my keyboard shortcut. You can assign shortcuts to any command under edit keyboard shortcuts, okay? In here, you can select your your uh, um your commands. For example, here is the vectorizer command. You select it and then you add your keyboard shortcut to it. So that's how you assign a keyboard shortcut. But anyways, we're going to select the entire thing, go to commands, vectorizer and just one click. We are going to wait a few seconds for the process to take place and uh, it should be done right around now and boom the entire set of uh, bitmaps are now converted into vectors. Very nicely and uh, well executed uh, vector artwork. So, you know, just with that alone, I just saved myself a few hours of work. Now I can pretty much go ahead and just uh, start rigging my character using Puppet Producer. We go to Extensions, Puppet Producer. Oh, I already had it available here. I can just go, okay, well, this is my back view. So I'll go to the back view. And uh, left hand, right hand. Okay, so this is going to be my left hand. This is going to be my right hand. So here is my right hand, boom, boom, and boom, okay? We just kind of apply the nuts where they need to be, and we just rigged up that character's arm. Very easy work. Uh, should uh, It should improve productivity for those of you who uh, prefer designing in a bitmap based environment such as Photoshop, now you can import your characters and uh, just automatically vectorize the entire thing. It'll take a few seconds. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please uh, be sure to let me know.